Hello gamers, my name is Seated Gamer and welcome back to another booster opening video. Today we've got more Amonkhet boosters. Yeah, well, let's let's just crack right in, see what we can get. Hopefully we get something uh, pretty nice, but uh, we'll see, we'll see. We got we got 15 cards to get through here. Let's just let's just do that. We've got a compelling argument for there to be a good card in this deck, uh, in this pack even. One and a blue sorcery. Target player puts the top five cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard. You can also cycle it for a single blue. It's a mill card. I don't know how useful this is in draft. I don't think it's really that useful at all. Like, there's not much of a mill deck. I guess if you're trying to get cards in your own graveyard, like you want to, like you want to embalm a bunch of your own stuff, you might just mill them in there straight with this, but. Yeah, I don't know how much play that sees in a uh, normal deck. Probably not all that much. I mean, it does cycle, but uh, it's not too useful. Anyway, next card. Thresher Lizard. That is a card that will actually see play. Two and a red for a 3-2 Lizard, but it's a 4-4 if you are heckbent. This is a good card. It's, it's, it's quick red. It's pretty good. Moving on. Red Crop Spearmaster, 2 and a white for a 3-1 Human Warrior. You may exert it as it attacks. When you do, it gets plus 1, plus 0, and gains First Strike until end of turn. A 4-1 First Strike Attacker isn't bad, but there's quite a bit of removal that can deal with this guy. Or they can just chomp lock with a 1-1 and leave it out of commission for a little while. And yeah, not, not much of a fan of this guy, honestly. Moving on, though. Unburden, one black black for a sorcery. Tiger player discards two cards. It's Mind Rot for slightly different mana cost. But it, but it can cycle as well. So late game, draw this, they have no cards in hand. Well, guess I'm getting a new card. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Moving on. Quarry Hauler, three and a green for a 4-3 Camel. When it enters the battlefield for each kind of counter on target permanent, put another counter of that kind on it or remove one from it. This is good if you're on the uh, green-black Negwan Negwan counters plan, or if you're playing against the Negwan Negwan counters plan, because you can just take a counter off one of your own guys, or if they have something that's like one Negwan Neg Negwan Neg Neg counter away from death, just kill it. As long as it isn't something that's ridiculously painful with additional Negwan Negwan counters on it, but yeah, not bad, not bad. Don't mind this guy. Moving on, Wasteland Scorpion, two and a black, two two Scorpion, Death Touch. That's fine. Also it can cycle. Yep, also fine. I, personally, I would never be cycling this card because I like 2-2 two -two death touches. They they are very nice at killing the opponent's biggest creature. It's rather nice. Moving on. Electrify. 3 and a red for an instant. Deals 4 damage to target creature. Of course, this kind of deals with death touch creatures. Pretty much every death touch creature in the set, I think. Yeah. This is a good card. Premium red removal. Instant speed, kill creatures. That is very nice. Moving on. Those who serve. Two and a white for a 2-4 zombie. Yep, goes in the black-white zombie deck. It sure does. Moving on. Slither Blade. A single blue for a 1-2 Naga Rogue. Slither Blade can't be blocked. Well, it sure holds a honed Kopesh well. Or, like, the, uh... Uh, implement, not implements, um, cartouches holds them rather nicely, because, hey, more damage in every turn. Not going to say it's a good creature, but if you go turn one, slither blade, turn two, Hone Kopesh, equip, turn three, cartouche of strength, kill, deal three damage to something, swing in for more. Yeah, not bad. If you go black, you can give this guy the cartouche of ambition. Give it lifelink, kill another one of their creatures. It's not bad. Needs the right deck for this guy. But, yeah, he's alright. Gift of Paradise. Two and a green for an enchantment aura. Enchant land. When it enters the battlefield, you gain three life. Enchanted land has tap. Add two mana of any one color to your mana pool. Yep, that's a... That's something. It's mana fixing with incidental life gain. Yeah, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Definitely goes well on the uh, the big green decks, and probably if you if you're splashing a third color, this card definitely helps. Cause hey, fixing, and also mana ramp. Once you hit three mana, which isn't a bad time for mana ramp. It's probably like 
the end of where you want your mana ram to be, because by that point you've hit 5 mana, hopefully, on the next turn, and you can start casting your Colossipedes and your uh, Crocodile the Crossing or whatever it is. Yeah, not bad. Next card. Kefnet's Monument. Hey, the monuments are fun. 3 mana for a legendary artifact. Blue creature spells you cast cost 1 less to cast. Whenever you cast a creature spell, target creature and opponent controls doesn't untap during its controller's next untap step. Worth noting that this does not, in fact, tap the creature, so you can't just pseudo-exert something, unfortunately. But oh well, it's not bad. It at least stops them, if they have a fan bearer, it stops them tapping down your creatures. Yeah, for a turn at least. Moving on. Watchers of the Dead. 2 mana for a 2-2 two, two artifact creature. Cat, exile it. Each opponent chooses 2 cards in his or her graveyard, then exiles the rest. Decent idea in thought, but not so good in practice. Because they'll just pick the 2 cards that they actually want to be in their graveyard, and get rid of everything else. Only reason you're getting value off of this is if they have more than 2 creatures with Embalm. Or if they have, like, Gravedigger and more than two creatures yeah not great not great moving on to the last uncommon merciless javelinier two black red for a 4-2 minotaur warrior pay two and discard a card put a neg one neg one counter on target creature that creature can't block this turn okay sure is a 4-2 the uh the discard to put a neg one neg one counter on things that is very nice very nice indeed and also meaning it un making it unable to block. That is definitely what Black Red wants to do. It can kill things. It can stop things from blocking. It's also a 4-2. So, not bad. Moving on to our rare. What do we have? Sweltering Suns. One red red for a sorcery. Sweltering Suns deals 3 damage to each creature. And if you don't want to do that, you can cycle it away for 3. This is probably going to get into pretty much any red deck in this format. I quite like this card. Quite like it indeed. Who doesn't like a board wipe for 3 mana? Yeah, it's a good card. Any foils? No, we get a mountain though, which uh, goes nicely with the Sweltering Suns, and we get the uh, the uh, token, the counter card. Counter token. Not bad, not bad. So Sweltering Suns. Good, good pull, good pull. Uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this booster. I'll see you tomorrow for another booster pack, because I got two from draft this week. It was a good time. See you then.